So you are probably not wearing Zubas or maybe rocking that grunge look, but your finances may still be stuck in the 90s. Old fashioned finances can add frustration, but more importantly, it can cost you money. You don't want that. Skip Johnson from Great Waters Financial is here with the signs that you are you bet. behind the times. Nice to see you, Skip. Good morning. Okay, so what are the signs that our finances maybe need an update? Right, so we, you mentioned before, but being stuck in the past year can cost you some money and cause frustration. So my first is auto pay. I think sometimes people are scared of it, but I want you to get comfortable with auto pay. Your fixed expenses, in my opinion, should be set up so you don't get late mm -hmm. fees. You know, we, uh, how many times does a 20 or $25 late fee hit people just because stuff gets lost in the shuffle? Right. So recurring expenses, set them up on auto pay. Now, I don't recommend that credit card bills or you know, maybe cable bills get put on auto pay. I want you to really stare those in the face and see, are you spending money you don't need to be spending? Hmm, okay, all right, I do auto pay like everything. And then every it once in a while, like a doctor's bill comes yeah. through and you're like, I gotta write a check and actually put this in the mail? Right, you know? right. Okay, uh, let's talk about your phone. It, it does not help you shop. It doesn't? Yeah, well, can you imagine phones used to just be for talking, right? Now we can text and take pictures and video, but it can help you shop. You know, there's, there's great ways to, you know, sort for deals. You're in a store and you can, you know, grab the iPhone or grab your phone and Google. Uh, and, and the goal here is just to be getting the best prices available so we're not wasting money. Okay, uh, so you don't know your score, uh, and that's really important when it comes to your credit rating. We're talking about your credit score here. Now, uh, your credit score is key because it determines how much we're going to pay when we're borrowing money, whether for car payments or mortgages and things like that. So rates right now are at historic lows, but it depends on having a good score. You can check your score for free, uh, and you can go to Great Waters Financial and get your annual credit score there, or you know, find that online. It's helpful to know your score. And you can get it free. Yep, once mm -hmm. a year you can get it for free. Okay, because that's the way you want to get your credit yes. score. All right, now a lot of people assume that their job will actually help them fund your retirement, but not all of your retirement, of course. Right, so our, our clientele is pre-retirees and people are retired, and a lot of them have pensions. But that is becoming a thing of the past. So I'm telling people your retirement is really contingent on you. And so we're saying save money. If you've got a 401k or a 403b available at work, take advantage of it now. Get the match. And then we're recommending at least saving 10 to 15% of your income for you know, short-term and long-term uh, retirement and fun goals. Nobody really wants to ever think about retirement. It seems so far away until it isn't. <laughs> yeah, and then it's all of a sudden, whoa, it's yeah. there. So. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, now also managing your money is someone else's job. You said you gotta kinda get off that track? Yeah, I want everybody to take responsibility for their own expenses and their own budgeting and their own planning. Don't just put it on you know, your, your partner or your spouse. We want it to be your job too. And so, especially when I'm sitting down with a couple or with folks, I'm encouraging both people to come to the meeting so we can dream together, we can goal set together, we can plan together. And of course, God forbid something happens health-wise uh, or there's a divorce. We want both people to be prepared to face the future. They're not left in the dark. Right, I mean, you know, a financial planner is helpful, but you gotta be in the game too. Yes, you know, you absolutely. Just... My, my wife and I, every uh, once a month, we do a budget meeting together so we can stay on track on our own goal setting together too. So, I'm so good at that. All right, and you should be. <laughs> so, I hope so, I get paid to do it, right? That's right. Yeah. So instead of looking at your finances, like in, you know, in the past, we wanna actually be thinking about the future when it comes to money. And, and what's the best way, what exactly are you talking about? Yeah, so we've all made financial mistakes. I've made more than I want to count. So don't just focus on the past. Start dreaming about the future. There will be surprises, no doubt, but we can plan for a lot. Those vacations, you know, college for kids uh, and retirement. Let's start setting goals and planning and looking ahead and make the retirement future uh, something we all want to be or want to enjoy. It's all about planning. You know, plan, it's, plan, it's plan. really, really important. All right, um, good advice from Skip Johnson, as yeah. always, from Great Waters Financial. Thanks for being here this you morning. You bet. Glad to be here.